What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog here. And before I get tucked away right now, I'm about to go edit some videos. I just want to share with you guys the car that I just got last night from one of my buddies and I'm looking at it today, you know, looking at what work I have planned out for it, what I want to do to it, how I want to get it set up, how I like my cars. So yeah, today I've just been doing that on the car, checking things out, see what I need to do, what's the plan, so I can start driving it as soon as possible and getting some more content on the video. So yeah, I've just been going over it, but I'm done for today. I'm going to go and edit a lot of videos that I have to upload on the channel. But I was going to give you guys a little introduction on the vehicle, a little walk around and some history of the car. So you can see it right behind me. You can already see clearly. It's a Z33. It's a 2007 Nissan Z33 350Z HR model. So it's got the dual intakes, a little bit more power and a CD009 transmission, which is stronger than previous year's 350Z transmissions. It's pretty much set up already pretty much to go on the track. It's set up like a drift car, as you can see. We got the work wheels, VSKF. I'm not sure on the specs. Those are my old wheels, and then I sold them to them, and then I got them back. So those are work wheels. I sold them to my buddy Feely last year. I'll attach his YouTube channel here. You'll be able to see it pop up on the screen. His channel is Feely Drifts. And he's uploading a lot of drift content, cars that he works on and stuff like that. This car, this 350Z, the history of the car is a lot on his channel. So you can see more of this vehicle on there. But yeah, like I said, it's pretty much set up to drift. It's got PBM full setup suspension, PBM solid subframe bushings. It's got the rack relocation, extended control arms. It also has hydraulic e-brake by Wilwood. It has dual calipers in the rear, the big brakes from the 370Z front and back. It's got intakes, carbon fiber splitter, louvers, and uh, I'm pretty sure it has a little bit of a few other things. I'll go walk around and we can point things out on the vehicle, but yeah, that's pretty much a solid introduction on the car. It's got a welded differential. I wish it had an LSD. I'm not a big fan of welded differentials, but maybe I'll swap that out later. But let's go ahead and walk around the car so I can show you guys what's up with it. So here's a closer look at the dual caliper setup I was telling you about. These are 370Z Nismo brakes. So you can see we have one caliper there, another caliper right there. So dual caliper setup to lock up the e-brake when you're drifting. This is a drift car set up for drifting. See it's got some like metal flake paint. I was taking off the stickers. NRG hub, USPL, wheel, wheel wood. Hydro e-brake setup, USPL shift knob, an extra axle because the axle is leaking so I got to get that replaced. Then you can see here we have a roll cage, half cage, roll cage is welded into the chassis. Other than that behind it it's pretty much gutted so it's kind of noisy in here. And then 370Z front big brake kit. And then you can see under PBM suspension setup, solid bushings on the subframe. And then we got the work wheels, 
VSKF. These are 18s. These are my favorite wheels right here. And we got a carbon fiber HR hood to match the HR model because this is an HR. I'm getting the windshield replaced tomorrow. So I didn't bother taking off the Feely Drift TV sticker. I'm gonna get this replaced tomorrow morning. And then I'm gonna reinstall the front plate, front license plate, get the windshield replaced. And I'm working on quieting down the rear exhaust. It just has a straight pipe right now. But uh, that's just for the day. It's gonna be off eventually in the next two days. Here we have our VQ. 35 v6 hr engine dual intakes it's using the typhoon intake system by k&n carb legal just installed this battery today because the one it had was pretty soggy got that from walmart for like 60 bucks then we have a coil radiator system to help keep the car cool aluminum radiator then you can also see the coilovers right there they're megan coilovers with a pbm control arm setup but other than that it's mostly a suspension setup car, not too much work done to the engine. I'll be having more of this car on my channel. This will be a very popular car on my channel, I think. You'll see this car come up in other episodes. That's the plan for it. But right now, just getting it dialed in and setting it up how I like it. Pretty cool car though. I was gonna get a G35 or a Z. Ended up going with a Z.